Liam, the two cup finals, Scotland and uh, England, are coming up. I, I, I remember the days going by. It was because there was such a plethora of TV now and matches. Like the FA Cup final day, it was the day, wasn't it? Oh, you and now it sort of it sort of diminished a wee bit. And yet, you know, Arsenal Hull be a good enough game. I hope. I totally agree with you. Adrian. You're the same era as me, same vintage. And and I can remember the cups being. You know, you always knew the the FA Cup finals. I think that's lost a bit of its impetus as well. I think some of the gloss has gone off it. There are other cups introduced now, Adrian, uh, which I always feel maybe detracts somewhat from the FA Cup. I still love it. Not so sure the rest of the footballing fraternity like it. Uh, in England, we have Arsenal v Hull. Hull's a, probably a surprise packet being there. I think it's a good chance for Arsene Wenger, the Arsenal manager, to get a major trophy. I still count it the number one knockout cup trophy in England. Uh, I would count it a major. We all talk about majors. But and I think it's one Liam, sorry for but, but would that be a success for a, a team like Arsenal, you know, an FA Cup? Well, Adrian, it's a start. You know, mm. uh, I think it do, for me, and I think the older brigade in football, the FA Cup would still hold a certain amount of prestige. And I think Wenger, put it like this, uh, you know, what does he tell the press if he doesn't want it? Mm -hmm. You know, he's playing a whole city team who, fraction of the budget he's got, Fraction of the facilities he has got. They're five to one with McLean's. Is, yeah. that, is that a good bet at five yeah, to one? Do you yeah. think Huller worth a? Yeah. Well, you know, cup finals are a one-off. How many times have you seen a, a, an upset in a cup final? That's decent. That's fairly decent odds, Adrian. Uh, five to one. I might even consider that myself, because I can remember from a personal basis playing in cup finals and going in as favourites and maybe one in it. And I, and I can remember going in one time as outsiders against Linfield in an Irish cup final which we ended up 1-4-1. One one. So, oh, you know, not always the favourites won the Cups. But if you were a betting man, you, you would still have to say that you would, you would have to go with Arsenal. You they're would eight, have to. You know, they're 8-15. to 15, Well, they? that doesn't surprise me. I think that's uh, near enough 1-2. to two, So, but looking at the... You know, Hull have had a few ones against decent sides this year in the Premiership. It is a Cup final. They'll be up for it. And, you know, Steve Bruce is a very decent manager who can knows how to motivate his players. Motivation's a big thing on a day like that. Complacency could maybe set in in the mighty Arsenal. Who knows? I'm interested in those odds here and I might even have a wee flutter on Hull now, but I fancy Arsenal. But I think, I'll not put a massive fortune, but I would fancy maybe Hull for a wee outside bet there. Let's move to the much maligned uh, uh, Scottish uh, <laughs> league. And yet, you know, you wonder why it's much maligned. We have so much interest in so many people over there from our own game and from this neck of the woods involved in playing and management and everything. Dundee against St Johnson, a uh, very, very tight call here. Dundee are four to six, St Johnson are six to five. Who do you fancy in that one? Well, my heart would want St Johnson to want it, obviously, because they're managed by a fellow from our neck of the woods uh, here, uh, Big Tommy. And they have another goalkeeper, I think, who possibly as playing in the final Alan Manus. But Tommy Wright has moulded a good St Johnson team. I think they're top six, Adrian, in the Scottish League. They don't have a massive attendance figures at their games and they don't have a massive budget. But by and large, they've given a very good account of themselves this year. And although I was speaking to somebody who watches Dundee United regularly and rates them very highly, young team, uh, very dialed in, I'd have to say I would fancy Dundee United. My head would tell me that. 